Alright, what is up guys? My name is Nick and this is Liz and Lou. You may know them from their channel, Liz and Lou. If you don't know that, go check it out. Today we're going to give you a little tour of our camper van that we built. This is a 2003 Chevy Express van. We built this van over the course of this last year and we've been living in it for about two months now. We've actually been making a lot of changes in the last couple months while we've been living in it, kind of figuring out what we want and what we need. And we finally got it to a point where we think it's almost done and we want to show you guys. So let's get right into it. I know what you're thinking. This thing looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> but it's what's on the inside that counts. So I bet you guys are really excited to see what's inside the van, so let's go have a look. part about this van is the high top I think it's perfect to stand up in and that's what makes living full-time in this um, a lot more comfortable than say like a standard van that has the low top and you know you have to be like this all the time it's very good to just stand up and I'm five foot five so it's like the perfect height for me so uh, come up on in and I'll show you the kitchen I'm over six feet and I can still stand in here pretty good fully straight up it's about six, six foot two inches of uh, headroom here. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the entryway of the van first. So we recently just spray painted this little piece, your, the stuff that you step up in, um, and it was just like nasty looking and full of paint. So we painted that, and it honestly looks like brand new. This flooring. So we got the flooring at Lowe's in the clearance section. There's a lot of boxes that are half used, you know, like people used a little bit of it and then they uh, return it. We got this for $20 at Lowe's. Yeah, it's really cute flooring. Nick just recently made this little cubby for our shoes. We were just throwing our shoes everywhere in here and this is so great because now his shoes go up here, my shoes go down there, and then we have slip-ons. So like my sandals, I just put underneath this chair which this is our newest renovation and we are loving it. So before we had an entire wall here with a door and we had a coat rack and everything and we liked that, but we realized we really wanted to open up this space entirely. Um, so we knocked down the wall and Nick actually just took the chair and turned it around and bolted it this way. A swivel seat is $200 online, so we just thought we'd do it the quick and easy and free way, and we have never been happier with this. So this is such a nice area to just hang out, read a book, play on your phone, anything you like to do. Uh, this is a nice little screen window so you get the breeze coming in. That's another good thing about having this space. You have more light and you have more air, so the airflow is nice. Um, we have it coming in through here. Speaking about airflow, we also have a vent down by Nick's shoes. So this pulls in air too. You just spin it to open it. So we have air coming in through there, air coming in through this open window, and I might as well mention our fantastic fan, which we have in the ceiling. And that pushes air like crazy. <laughs> That's full blast, this thing rips. <laughs> now there are better versions of this. This is the cheapest one, it only blows out, but you can get ones that blow in, they have remotes, all sorts of stuff. And if we didn't have enough airflow, we also have another one. This is the exact same fan, um, but portable, obviously. You can plug this into your cigarette lighter, it runs off that. So you can just post this up in the window. We usually roll up the window to just like place it in and uh, yeah, turn it on and you have a nice breeze coming in through here and up out through the ceiling fan. <laughs> he wants to play, but not right now, Bob. 
So while we're parked, we have the driver's seat for storage, which is great. And we put this little curtain. It's just like a little cheap blanket we got at Walmart. And we use that on a bungee cord for the curtain. So behind this is our laundry basket, as well as Lou's food bin. And we also have the garbage right behind the seat too. Um, Nick actually installed this little table. We had this table elsewhere in the van. I forgot where it was. Oh, it was on our door that we had here. And we were gonna get rid of it, but we realized that we could put it here to have the garbage up and away from our dog who loves garbage. Oh, we also have our propane back here for our stove, which we'll talk about later. Um, but yeah, that goes down here. This flips down. And then you can just slide the seat back and get in and drive. So now that we don't have the privacy of the door, we use this as a curtain to block our way from the cab at night. So it actually hooks up right to the visor there. And then at night, we bring it over here and we actually hook it up on the metal of the van right there. And it acts as a curtain so we can have some privacy uh, while we're sleeping, especially if we don't have that cover on. That cover right now, so it's covering the van. So if we were, stealth parking we wouldn't be doing that if we we're in like a walmart parking lot or something we wouldn't have that cover on the van you just have to get out of the van to do so and we try and stay in the van as much as possible in areas like that just for safety reasons we also don't like it on because if we had to leave in the night um, if there was an emergency we'd have that thing over our windshield and we can't see we'd have to get out of the van to get it off so for safety reasons we have it off while we're uh, stealth camping yeah so that's why we use the curtain when we're in public areas like walmart parking lots parking for the night that gives us privacy okay so this top area we use for our pantry so we actually bought these bins at lowe's i actually sanded them and stained them as well as this top piece we really had a hard time figuring out the space issue in the back here because it goes all the way back and we didn't want things rolling to the back and we weren't sure how to utilize the space without losing some stuff way way back there so we ended up putting the bins back here and they actually fit perfect here and we put this top on top and we screwed it all in so we kind of just made our own little pantry up here and i think it works really well because then there's a back and when we're driving things don't fall and roll to the front of the van over here is all my skincare, um, our keys, and a little mirror so we can brush our teeth. Nyx headlight, so that's nice to just have that by the door for when you're headed out. So then I'll bring you over to this rack, which is our toothpaste, our deodorant, and toothbrushes, and a little spray bottle that we use for all sorts of things. Um, we use for dishes, and sometimes, <laughs> even if I don't have water, I usually use it to brush my teeth sometimes. It's really good to conserve water. Okay the best thing ever 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 for this van is this sink so i usually do the dishes because that's just how it works nick has built everything in the van so i'm usually the uh cleaner <laughs> so this is amazing we just installed this a couple weeks ago it's my favorite thing about the van um so we have a water pump that nick installed it's like the cheapest pump from amazon it's a c flow I have it on this switch here, so we can shut it off. I also put lights under here. Here's all our water tanks. The gray water from the sink comes out of this little thing down back into there. And I installed these lights so you can see the level of the water. So you can tell that's where it's at so it doesn't overflow. Easy to check. So we have seven gallons of gray water and then we have these three jugs of fresh water. You can take it off and wash dishes, which is really great. Before, our sink was like this tiny little walk. It, we used a walk for a sink basin and it was just crappy because it was hard to wash the dishes properly. So it's nice to have a deep basin so you can put your dishes in and um, rinse them all off with this. Peel and stick tiles we have all behind the sink. I really like them. It adds a splash of color to the kitchen. These are our spice racks. We have this little magnet strip for all of our silverware, our ratcheting paper towel holder. And down here we have a little light for underneath. 
Um, here are our cups and um, my blender for smoothies I keep down here. We have our pan. We also have some plastic bags back there for garbage. We have all of our bowls here which actually fit all together. So we have Pyrex dishes and they all fit together. So we had this leftover diamond plate that Nick was using um, for the back of the van. So this is just scrap and we used it as a backing, a heat protector for our stove. And we just brought it up the wall. I think it just adds like a nice touch. It just makes it look kind of like a nice cooking area and it blocks the heat for sure. I'm just really happy with how the kitchen turned out. We also put some trim here. Um, this is Reflectix behind this tapestry and this tapestry I brought from home and it was free so we decided to use that fabric to cover the Reflectix and the insulation um, in this part of the van. We added rigid insulation in the floor, the ceiling, as well as the walls and then we covered that in Reflectix and then covered the insulation with this plywood and painted the entire van. So our next great upgrade that we did was the stove. We have hooks to put the cover up here um, just so it's out of the way when we're cooking because we don't have much space space in here. So this is a Flame King stove. This is the cheapest stove on Amazon. We used to use Coleman stoves and it was just a joke. So this is really great for cooking in the van. Um, so there's a big burner and a small burner. We have the hose running under here. So this is a regular dorm size mini fridge and it does take a lot of power, but we didn't want a chest fridge. We wanted this to be more homely. Um, so we opted for a regular looking fridge, you know? and I really like it. We can keep enough food in here for at least a week. There's a little freezer up top that we don't use that much. We don't have a lot of freezer stuff, but yeah, it's good enough space for us and we have enough power for it. So uh, we really like this type of fridge. So originally on our first build out, we had a fixed bed. So this whole area was just always a bed, but that was kind of just for a part-time thing. Now that we're living in a full-time, we like to have extra space and it's nice to be able to access under here. We just have our clothes in these bins. Um, just like small stuff up there, bigger stuff down there. And it's just pretty simple and easy. And we also have this ottoman that I usually sit here and like use the computer it's a nice little desk area you can use that and this thing is also extra storage we put we keep like towels and stuff in there with our bed i built this pull out frame so you just pull that out slides out like that and then these tri-fold mattresses off Amazon, just fold right down. It's roughly like a queen size bed. And also, here's our little Wii Boost for extra cell signal. We um, have these little bins I built in here for extra stuff. So yeah, when you wanna fold the bed up, you just pull that up, slide it in, and it's basically a couch now. When the bed is folded up, Louis loves to lay right up here. It's his little top spot. So that's a really good space for him, um, as well as this chair he's been sleeping in sometimes. So he's got some spaces that he likes in here too, which is great because it is a small space. And it also makes use of that area when the bed is folded up because we did think like, okay, well, we're, you know, using a lot of space for this folded up mattress. Um, but actually it has a purpose now. It's Lou's spot. It's his bed. Our power stuff. This is our charge controller monitor thing and I also have a little battery monitor down here and this is the control to our diesel heater it's one of the best things we added to the van that's where it comes out we used to have a little nice vent cover on that but Liz stepped on it and broke it off so we have to get a new one of those 
And okay. down here, we just have some bins from Walmart, easy storage. Uh, this is to like keep them from sliding off while we're driving. And we just have this bin of like medical stuff, bathroom stuff, just extra storage. Lights we have here. We got four of those. They're plenty bright enough. We have them on this little dimmer switch. So you can dim them however much you want. That's pretty nice. And then finally our TV. Swivel mount so you can pull it out. I like to sit in that chair and use the computer. It's uh, pretty nice. And when we want to go to bed, you can just flip it around and use it that way. Let's head out back and I'll show you guys like the power system and all that. Here we have a 2003 Chevy Express van. This is the six liter 3500 model. Now, we chose the Chevy Express because I believe that it's one of the most reliable engines on the market you can get for a van. And we found this one with a high top for $1,500. Now, this thing's got a little bit of rust. That might be an understatement, but the frame is solid. So I'm gonna address the body rust at some point. We're not too concerned with that. As you can see, we got the classic paint peeling on the front. I kind of started sanding it and then I just gave up. That was like months ago and for whatever reason, I haven't finished it. Anyway, you can see our windshield cover we have on here. This thing's pretty cool. Whenever we're posted up somewhere, it's nice to give a little bit extra privacy and we can also have the windows open. As you can see here, we got this window open and there's a, actually a screen built in, so that's really nice. Louie likes to sit by the window. That thing is from ADCO, specific for the Express. You can get them for Fords, Dodges, anything. Highly recommend it. Right here we got a little sticker for Louie to kind of show people that we do have a dog inside. Not, Don't mess with us. If you break in, you're gonna get bit. So, <laughs> security. Yeah, he's good security. We also have this vent here on the side. Let's in some fresh air without having the windows open. Yeah, that works good. Just the roof vent pulls air out and then it pulls air in through that. So it's kind of a good cross flow. So we're on the back side here. We have my cargo box solar set up here. When we came out here, I had a little motorcycle carrier with my motorcycle on it, but we ended up not needing it as much. So I sold that and I got this cargo box toolbox set up. So basically when we were sitting in one spot for a while, not driving, the batteries would run a little low because our fridge uses a lot of power, so I wanted to get some extra power. And they do sell foldable panels you can kind of just deploy out and have on the ground or wherever, but I liked the option of having rigid panels that I could reuse on our next build or something. So we got these, and you basically just, it's bolted to the cargo box, my toolbox under here. So you can see here the frame is just bolted through. So that's not going anywhere. And while I have this open, you can kind of just see my tools and stuff I have in here. My toolboxes, all my power tools and stuff. I keep a jack in here. All the stuff I need. I do all the maintenance on the van. So, you know, while we're out here, if I need to do anything, we can get it done. So basically, you just fold this thing up, and boom, extra 200 watts. I was worried about the wind, like flipping this thing down and smashing the panel. So I just installed this latch on the door there. So you can just latch it in and throw that on. So it can't flip down with the wind. And then when, where we're gonna leave, Pop it down, throw that on there, and lock that. 
so that I can't fly up while they're driving. I'm gonna put a piece of wood on here to kind of block out the rain and stuff. I just haven't got to it yet. We were having some trouble with losing cell signal out here in the desert, so I installed our WeBoost antenna. Now, this is the WeBoost OTR kit. It's basically for semi trucks, and that's why it has the larger antenna, which I wanted, and it actually worked out perfect because it's meant to mount to one of those mirror posts that we have there. Here, you can see the exhaust pipe for our little diesel heater. That thing's awesome. It actually comes with a little muffler. Yeah, right there. That makes it a little quieter. And you can see here the wires running from those panels. Here's our batteries. We have four 100 amp hour Amazon specials. I think it's like universal batteries. 400 amps, 12 volt. That's the little battery monitor shunt. Our inverter. It's a 3000 watt pure sign. Charge controller, little fuse panel, and a ground bus bar. And then here I just have some extra fluids and stuff. We actually have air compressor in here powered by the batteries as well as our diesel heater. This thing is a must have if you're in a colder climate or something. Even out in Arizona, it gets cold at night, so we need this thing. Here's the fuel tank. It's about two and a half gallons. Up here, we have 300 watts of solar on the roof, and we have another 300 watts back here. Now it's wired, so the top two panels are in series. These back two panels are in series and then those two are in series. So when that's closed, it's not gonna affect power output of the other panels. That's important to note. All right guys, that's basically it for our van tour. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and put it down in the comments what you think about our van or any changes you think we should make. Subscribe to our channel for more videos as we travel around the West Coast. And definitely follow our Instagram. It's, uh, what is it Liz? It's Burton underscore off grid. Yeah, so. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.